YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hey, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video, so please show your boy some love. But anyhow, what I want to talk to y'all today about was, I don't know if y'all been hearing about it, but Elon Musk is up to some things. And I just wanted to bring out the news about, you know, basically what I've been hearing and seeing, you know what I'm saying? So I want to read this article to y'all that I ran across. I know a lot of y'all might not have heard of it, but it comes off of the site of uh, Tesla Roddy. Tesla Roddy, teslaroddy.com. I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can go and check out the full article for you for yourselves. But uh, we'll jump right into it, man, and uh, see what this guy is talking about. So it says, uh, Tesla semi-production is taking place in a secret Nevada facility. Hmm, I wonder what's so secret about it. I don't know. Let's see. It says the Tesla semi is almost here, but the facility where the electric automaker builds the class eight truck is extremely mysterious, even to the employees who work at Gigafactory one in Sparks, Nevada, outside of uh, Reno. So it said employees at Gigafactory one who do not work at the newest Tesla owned building on the property are just confused as the rest of us. Tesla workers involved in producing various products in the main Gigafactory one building cannot access the facility because the semi project is so elusive to top secret that it has been kept extremely under wraps by the company, even to the employees. This must be, they fixing to roll out something y'all better be ready i think this is the reason why the truck is in the trucking industry is going in the dumps right now because they getting ready to roll out something i don't know it says that tesla purchased the building in the second quarter of 2020 according to the market research report from kidder matthews uh the commercial real estate firm that sold the automaker the substantial energy company the property uh it's 650,000 square feet. Ooh, can you imagine that in size? Good Lord. Yeah, they really putting together some stuff. Uh, it said the address that appears on several import or export logs for Tesla, including a shipment of bush bars from Shanghai. Bush bars are uh, solid material bars used to carry current used to carry current and are frequently utilized in high current environments which makes the which makes them suitable for EVs the mention of the semi factory's potential address which Kidder Matthews lists as 550 Milan Drive confirms automotive production is going on in the facility. So I don't know if they just making EV trucks or if they're also making EV cars. I don't know, but it's one of those gigafactories. I thought he had moved all of them out to California, but I guess he got a secret location going on in Nevada. Elon Musk, what you got going on, man? I don't know. But goodness, Tesla is preparing to deliver its first semi units to Pepsi on December 1st after several years of delay. So Pepsi gonna get the first rollout. And then in 2020, Elon Musk sent an email to employees listing the semis as ready for volume production, only to push the initial deliveries back to the fourth quarter of 2021. So 2021, and then now it's 2022. So this date was also off the mark as Tesla never got its semis to Pepsi facilities in Modesto or Sacramento, 
where the first units was ultimately taken off from, I mean, will ultimately take off from by the end of 2022. It seems now Tesla is undoubtedly getting close to the semis production. While details regarding the initial bills are still coming out, the semi factory where Tesla is manufacturing the vehicles itself still remains elusive from public knowledge. So what does this mean, guys? We probably don't or won't figure out what in the hell Elon Musk got going on at this gigafactory. If the employees don't even know what's going on, you know he's not going to unveil or reveal his secrets to us. You know, so I guess we just got to wait to see who's going to get these first trucks. You know, I know a lot of people that uh has these trucks on order i know at first it was he was taking uh or tesla was taking you know twenty thousand dollars down in order to basically just start the production of your truck you know so that list has since uh been taken down because they had so many uh vendors that were trying to buy these trucks till they couldn't keep up so they had to shut the list down. So I don't know, but we'll see what's to come. And like I said, I'll leave this article in the uh, in the description. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all think. What y'all think Elon Musk up to? What what? How do y'all feel about the market now? With the, what's going on now? The rates are so low. Just seem like the trucking industry is in the dump. So. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. A lot of people been calling me up and shout out to, you know, one of my subscribers that sent this to me. Real good buddy of mine, real good friend of mine. He sent this story to me. He said, hey, Ron Witch, I think you should report on this. And I was like, yeah, this is a really good article. And so I didn't know if a lot of you, are, a lot of you guys may have, have read it or not. But, you know, I always try to keep the Flair family up to point when it comes out to this stuff like this or whatever. I mean, when it comes down to this stuff like this or whatever. So, you know, just wanted to make you all aware of what is going on out here. So I really don't know. Don't call me and ask me. I don't know. It's a, it's under secret. It's under it's under wraps. You know what I'm saying? They're keeping it under wraps. So, uh, yeah, it's teslarati.com. So y'all check it out, man. Elon Musk is up to some things. But uh, I just want to bring that quick to y'all and let y'all, uh, you know, get a quick insight on uh, what's going on. But anyhow, I'll be back at y'all with another video shortly. Till next time, Runaway Child, and we are out!